Okay, here we are back on node one and it's time to install SQL. So let's go ahead and get to it. I'm gonna make this full screen so I don't have to do a lot of scrolling. I'm gonna to go to PowerShell. I'm gonna right click and say run as admin. Now remember, we have to install the .NET framework. And on Windows 2012, we have to not only install the framework, but we have to pull it off of the DVD because for some reason they chose to take it out. So we'll go to VM. Let's just make sure. No, let's go to Windows first and just make sure it's there. So we've got the Windows media right there. Perfect. And it's D. That's what we want. So we'll say get Windows feature because we just want to make sure that somebody wasn't nice and installed it for us, though it's highly doubtful. Let's see here. It's in here somewhere. There it is. Net framework features, and we want net framework net dash framework dash features. Perfect. So we'll come back down here and say add Windows feature net framework features dash source space dash source colon backslash sources dash sxs enter while that's going let's go ahead and do the same thing on node 2 so I'll go here I'll right click say run as admin add windows feature Net framework features. There we go. Dash source sources dash SXS. And let's make sure that we have the Windows media on this one as well. Well, I'll just go to Windows and see. And yes, I do. It's right there. So perfect. And while that goes, let's go over here and check on node one. It should be finished. Perfect. Let's close that. We'll leave this open for a minute and wait for node two. Perfect. Now we have the prereqs installed and we are ready to install SQL. That's what we're going to do next.